my name is John Fraser, and I'm 84. I was born in Japan on December 15, 1931. To make a long story short, I ended up in Germany with the Canadian Army in, in 1953, and I was there for four or five months. When I got back to Canada, I finished law school. I was invited to go to Powell River and run an office there for a Vancouver firm which I did. Eventually I got asked if I would run for public office. So I said yes and uh, I got elected and I was a member of parliament for 20 years or so and then uh, the Conservative Party appointed me ambassador for environment. From the time I was a kid, a boy scout, I instinctively knew that one of the fundamental duties of citizenship was to look after the world around us, look after the environment. When you're young, what you've got to start thinking about is, what do I do to contribute to my country as I get older? And if that's the question you ask yourself, you're doing a great thing for, for Canada. It's a question I ask myself. How do we look after the wilderness? How do we look after the environment? Because if we don't do that, we haven't got anything. You've got to speak out. And that means that young people have got to speak out. But older people have got to speak out in support of these young people. And have got to encourage them. Because it's going to be the world they have to look after very, very much more rapidly than they probably realize at the moment. It's always a problem when people, as they're getting older, start to say, well, I can't do anything about it anymore. Wait a minute, there's another generation coming and you have got to do something to help them replace you and to do it well and be able to have confidence that the, that, that the rivers aren't all going to be polluted, that the lakes aren't going to dry up, that the fish aren't all going to stop being in the, in the, in the oceans. These are, these are enormous issues, and they aren't going to go away, and they're absolutely linked to our existence. I'm not a wild-eyed environmentalist. I am an environmentalist. You can't walk away from what you don't want to talk about. If we don't take care of the world we live in, we're not going to live in a very easy world. And it isn't going to be resolved by silence. Look at what the stakes are. We have, in many respects, in many places, a very beautiful world. It's all quite magnificent. It's also, as we've seen in Fort McMurray, uh, easily destroyed. The world is a better place than it was some time ago in many respects. But it's not perfect. The toughest thing to get across to people is that if you want to make the world better, you've got to work at it. It doesn't just happen.